To make things easier for alignment, Camtasia has canvas snapping as an option. So to enable canvas snapping, you can go on to the view menu right here and click on enable canvas snapping. So by default, it is enabled right here in my case, so I don't have to do anything. But if in your case, it's disabled, you can just take this out and a tick mark will appear over here on the left side. So to demonstrate canvas snapping, I'm just going to go around over here in annotations and bring in some objects. Let's say, for example, this one right here. So there's nothing in the canvas right now, but if I were to go and drag it right over here, you can see that it snaps on right onto the middle. So the edges are snapping onto the middle right here. The middle point is snapping over here onto the middle now, and this one right here, just like that. If I were to um, just disable canvas snapping, you can see that that does not happen. But if I were to turn on canvas snapping, then you get the guidelines right here. This is very useful if you have multiple objects that you want to align together. Let's say, for example, I have this object, I'm going to uh, snap it right on the center. Let's say I'm just going to go around, snap it right on the center right here. I can bring another object and snap it right over here as well, just like this, as you can see. I can snap the object right over here. Now, I can be assured that all of these objects are snapped on onto the same position uh, horizontally, just like this. And now, if I have multiple objects, now what it does is it takes that object as a source of the alignment and snaps it onto place as well, just like that. I can also go over here, do the same at the top as well. And now what I uh, can be sure is, I can be sure that it'll snap along right onto the pl place, just like this. So now everything will be aligned as a grid, as you can see right here, just like this. Of course, you don't have like perfect way to snap things out, but you can go over here onto option right here and work around with the position as well. So this in the position zero, and this, in this is in position 596, as you can see right here. This is in position 000, zero, zero from X, Y, and Z. So I'm just going to work around with these out so that I can visually snap out other things. So you can see that I have this snapped on right onto the center. So what I want to do is work around with this. So I'm going to eyeball it right over here to make sure it, 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 the left and right has equal spaces. And I can go around here and type in the exact value like 570, just like this. So this is 570 pixels onto the right. So I can go around here, bring in other thing, and this is going to be minus 570. So now I know that the left and right has equal spacing around. I can do that around just like this as well, just like that. So there's minus 288 there. So I'm just going to do minus, uh, 285 minus 285, which is much more easier to remember. Similarly, I'm going to drag this out and this is going to be plus 285, just like that. And that has been snapped onto the place as you can see. So 285, just like that. Now I can just bring in other elements and then snap it right over here without worrying about all of these data. So I can just go around here, just like that, as you can see, and it has snapped onto place. I can also go around here and I can group these all out and you can see that they are acting as a single group now and resize this out as well, just like this freely and then snap it right onto place as well. And now you know that they have equal spaces up. And of course you can ungroup them out again and they are individual and you can work freely with it. So you can also do this with all of the items right here and the snapping guides pop up right there. So you can go around just like this and then snap it right onto the place, just like that, as you can see. So what you can do is you can copy and paste these things around just like that. So on, on over here on the top, I have copied and pa pasted it by pressing Control C and Control B. I can snap it right onto place just like that. I can copy and paste this and maybe I want to rotate it out and even rotation snaps onto place when that is turned on. And you can see that I can really align things together so that they look very normal. I can resize this out right over here, just like that, and snap it right onto place according to what I like. So just like that, you can snap different things onto place just like that, and that is how it works out. So that is how you can work with canvas snapping to uh, create a very, uh, very aligned graphics inside of uh, Camtasia. So hope you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.